Yogi Clan, welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service, and I am here in the shop with none other than Bertha. And I have a problem that I've been dealing with Bertha for probably at least three years now. And the problem is, is when I sync my phone to the Bluetooth system, to the Harley Boombox system, it usually it works great, but sometimes it doesn't work so great. Sometimes it drops the Bluetooth connection and then it'll go back to playing the radio or I had a iPod in there that had music stored on and it would revert back to that. And for years, I have not been able to figure out why it keeps doing this and it's been so bloody frustrating. And I realize this video may not apply to very many people. There's probably a limited audience that this is gonna apply to, but you know what? If it helps one, if it just helps one person, then I know I've done my job. And if you're a reader of the good book from our Lord, I want to quote some scripture quick. Luke chapter 15, verses 4 through 6. And this is red letters, so you know what that means. That means that Jesus is talking. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses just one. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the one lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and his neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. He saved just one out of the hundred. So if this video helps just one, uh, probably the only hundred people that I watch this, then hey, I did my job and I'm rejoicing. So what's going on? Well, if you remember about two years ago, if you're not an avid subscriber, if you weren't really one of the first 30 people subscribed to this channel, then you probably didn't see this video. But this video is about the Bluetooth kept dropping the connection. And I thought at that time, you know, if I update the firmware on the boom system, maybe that'll take care of it. Well, it did. I mean, it got better for a while, but then the problem just kept coming back again until the Labor Day ride. So I did a video not too long ago entitled, listen to this now. And it was about, it was a ride I took with my beautiful bride on Labor Day. And during that ride, I bet you we dropped this connection. It was probably about an hour and a half, two hour ride. We probably dropped the connection of the Bluetooth at least a dozen times, which is really frustrating because with this boom system and now with Spotify on the phone, man, you can play anything through the boom system. So I have some really good playlists on Spotify that I like playing through my radio as I'm riding down the road. But before Spotify, what did I used to do? Well, on here, if you're familiar with this particular Mount Rushmore bike and the boom system, there is a USB plug inside the dash. Let me show you. If I pop open the dash here, take out my garage door opener. Don't let anybody know that I keep my garage door open and I keep that a secret. Right here, there is a USB plug. Well, back in 2015, when I acquired Bertha, Spotify wasn't what it is today. And I didn't have a membership to Spotify. So what I did is I took that USB plug and there's a thing called an Apple, it's a little iPod shuffle. I used to use this back in the days when I was a much skinnier yogi and used to run a whole lot. So I would take this with me, load my music on it. It holds like 300 some songs on it. I would use this and it plugs in with a USB cord, plugs in like this, plug it into the USB, good to go. You don't need to put batteries in this. The USB sends a charge through into the iPod shuffle to keep it charged. And then the music comes through the other direction. So I would look at my boom system and I would select play music from iPod. Now, after a while, listening to the same 300 songs got really boring. And then right around that time, Spotify came available. So since then, I've really been using Spotify and I don't really use this anymore. I thought, well, you know, hey, I'll just keep it on the bike anyways, because at least it keeps it charged. So if I want to use it for, I don't know, mowing the grass or maybe... I decided to lose some weight and start going running again. Probably not going to happen. But anyway, <laughs> that uh, I would have a charged iPod little shuffle to use to go do that. But this weekend, I was doing a ride with the Hellfighters Motorcycle Ministry. Our club, Forge Brotherhood, was blocking and escorting their ride. During that ride, every time I would hit a bump, I would lose the connection. Two weeks ago, when I did the vent light on here, I had the front of the fairing off. And I thought, man... This is a good time to check the boom box. Make sure that my antennas are connected. There's no loose connections because it seemed like every time I hit a bump, it would drop the signal. So it sounded like there was something loose or felt. To me, it screams something being loose in the boom box system. And Lord, I was hoping and praying there was not something wrong with the boom box system because that's like a six, $700 at least minimum repair to swap out the boom system. And I don't want to have to do that. So I, when I had the fairing off and I was checking everything out, everything seemed tight. And I thought, well, maybe I move things around. Maybe this will eliminate the problem. 
problem. Well, this weekend when we're out, I'll be darned. Every time I hit a bump, I'd lose the Bluetooth signal again. I'm like, what the heck? So finally I got home from the ride and I was like, okay, this is really starting to upset me. I thought, well, you know what? Maybe this is the weak link. Maybe there's something wrong with this. And if it, the cord is broken or it's not getting the signal, oddly enough, maybe there's something wrong with my little iPod shuffle. So I unplugged the iPod shuffle and let me tell you since then, I've not had the problem anymore. The problem's gone away. The Bluetooth has worked perfectly. No matter what bump I hit, where I go, I could probably go four wheeling, two wheeling, cross country, whatever you want to call it. And I don't think I would lose the Bluetooth signal anymore. So if you are having problems with your Bluetooth signal and it dropping with your Harley boom system, check to see if you have something plugged into the USB port. So this thing goes back to probably 2008. So it is 13 years old, including that cord. And you know how phone cords and charging cords are, may not be good anymore. So if you're dropping your signal, the first place I would look is here to see if you got something plugged in. Now, if you charge your phone through there, I would suggest you don't charge it through there anymore. I would suggest you get a, a cigarette lighter adapter like this and plug your phone in through this and stay independent of that port. Because I have a feeling that port, when, when the signal gets lost or the signal gets broken or something happens, then it cuts off all the Bluetooth. It like Cuts it off. I don't know. I don't know what it does exactly, but I think that was the problem. So I think my problem is solved now that this is gone. So we're going to chuck this into the trash. No more. Don't really need it anymore. I don't think I'm ever going to use it again. I can use the phone with Spotify. What do I need that anymore for? I don't even think my kids would be interested in having it. So if you're dropping your signal, that's where I would start checking first. And there's my tip for the day. So I thank you, Yogi Clan, for joining us. I hope you have an awesome day. And I hope this helps save just one person. If so, I will be rejoicing. All right, y'all. Enjoy your week. I'll catch you later. Peace.